Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Growing Up. Okay, so I have like a massive confession to make. Ever since I did that like all-nighter that I should have been asleep for, uh, I haven't loaded the game back up because I've been like out of town. Um, so, <laughs> I have no idea what my plans were other than I kind of wanted her to be a veterinarian. Or a marine biologist. Um, and I remember nobody's voices. So. Ooh, we got stuff going on out there. Oh, coach assistant. I mean, I haven't done it yet. I mean, it would make my parents. Ugh. What's that gonna get me? Oh, raise my memory. Well, okay, first off, definitely do this once. Okay, how to raise my memory. Raise my memory. Oh, well, first, let's get some stuff from the cafeteria menu. Gives me 10, gives me 5. Give me five action point cap. I would just like to buy the carrot sticks. Thank you. Okay. Do I not have anything to increase my memory? Uh, that's my intelligence. Is that... What does that take? I don't... I don't know what that would take. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to make my parents, like, not proud of me suddenly, so I'm just going to want to keep that balance well. So let's do the brain map. Okay. So, teleport. I have a gold memory piece, which I'm probably going to need. There we go. I got, I got more of that. I don't necessarily need the action points, per se, but... Ooh, there we go. I gotta, I gotta raise that memory high. Okay. Give me some points to flip. Something. Um... Uh, do I want the insight? Okay, there we go. My memory's up a little more. Um, I, do I need my charm higher? Do I really need my charm any higher than this? Imagination, maybe. There we go. Where on earth is the flip? I'll take that. I mean, what, do I get bonus points if I fill out an entire map? Surprise. What is a surprise? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, let's go home then. A month later, for the first time, Wendy comes over to your house. Oh. Oh, okay, so we have got an energy drink, or is that a soda? Uh, honey, if you're 12, you shouldn't be drinking an energy drink. Did you not hear about what was going on with, like, those bang energy drinks and kids' hearts giving out? Why do you have cups up there? What does that do for you? I mean, I support the bowl of fruit. 100%. Okay. But to do homework. Hey, Wendy, did you figure out the answers to number five? No, my head hurts. I just don't get it. Why do we need to know fractions? Uh, well, to be quite frank, for what you want to do, because I, if I remember right, you want to do VFX, right? So if you have, like, you know, one-fourth of a roll of spool, and you know that you only need, like, a third of it, 
will you have will you have enough? Do you have to go to the store? Do you have to buy more? And don't get me wrong, you're gonna need fabric in some cases for certain VFX abilities. I'm I guarantee you. Uh, so we can get into high school and get good jobs, you know. No, I don't. I'm gonna do makeup, not math. And I can use measuring cups. Yes, but not for the role of school. You still have to pass. I, I know. My folks were so happy when I came here to do homework. Ugh. Gag. Well, better than cutting class to see Ghost Squad. You need to pass. We should have gone. What, so you're like my teacher now? That's okay. Is this your way of saying you want me to tutor you? Wendy smiles. She's not always good at gratitude, but she can show it. I wish I could just give you an A and get you out of my class. I wish I had one class I liked. Push for drama club. Yeah, like, this would give you a really good chance to flex with drama club. Like, I learned so much about how to do makeup artist stuff from being in drama in high school. And, like, not only could you really do what you need to shine, but you need, like, some kind of um, a portfolio. That's what you need. If you're going to be doing VFX as your dream job, or any art, if you're going to do video game design, if you're going to do, like, actual, like, drawing, if you're going to do, like, clay sculptures, you need to have a portfolio that you are prepared to show to people and that you are proud of. Because, first off, they're going to pick it apart. It's going to happen. Don't worry about it. But you need a portfolio that shows how diverse and good you are at what you're doing. So if you're doing different stuff, A, you get the practice, and B, if you just take photos of, like, the stuff that you've been doing in the drama club, oh my god, yeah, you're going to do great. But you need to have a portfolio together. I, I've stressed this to somebody that used to live with me. I'm like, if you want to work for an amazing video game design company, you need to have a portfolio together that's going to show off a myriad of talents and show you to some degree as a rock star because you always want your portfolio to look better than what you can actually do. Anyway, go to the drama club, Wendy. A sign up for the drama club in high school. You can do makeup there. Uh, drama club? Oh, right. But I don't want to be an actor. <sighs> don't they use makeup and stuff in plays? My parents took me to one. Wendy listens, though, reluctantly. We saw The Phantom, a musical at the theater. It had cool effects. Huh. I never thought about that. I bet they have a big makeup room. Yes! Yes, this... this do it. Wendy looks at her books spread out on the floor, and she grits her teeth. Ugh. All right, let's... Allie, let's get back to homework. Yeah! Yeah, mom, dad, mom, mom. I have two moms. In real life, I have a mom and a dad. I'm very clearly projecting. Anyway, moms, be proud of me. I got my friend to care about education. Yes. Oh, God. Was I too, was I too loud? I'm hearing things. Okay. Anyway, when you come home, you find one of your parents cooking. Hey, kiddo. Want to hand me the carrots? Uh, pass them the carrots. Why would you... I get that you're 12 and you think that you're cool, but come on. Here. You hand the carrots over. Thanks. You want to help me with the rest of cooking? Huh? I mean, what else are you doing? <sighs> help with dinner. You might get a new skill, A, number one. Number two... If it doesn't end with frosting on each other's faces, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and number three, I'm hungry. I really want dinner in real life. I've been recording for like six hours straight. I just want food. Sure. Can I use the knife? I am 12. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to earn the knife. Ugh, you don't make dinner. Oh, but at 12, you can use a knife. Fine. Ugh. I tutored kids who were younger that could use knives. I taught them some really good recipes, too, by the way. Like, I taught them my ramen recipe, and it's 
just great. Anyway. Okay. Uh, new expectation. Perform cooking activities six times. Okay. I mean, I am going to need to know how to do it for real life, so... Okay, so we've got... Let's watch some cartoons. That gave me literally a point. Okay. Um, you feel... Okay, unlocks... Oh, art space gallery. Oh, this unlocks new places. I see. Can I go back to... No, okay. Um... I don't have enough for that, but I think maybe the art space gallery would be fun. Cube puzzle, prove you're a genius and solve it. Maybe I should get this. I, like, either of these I think would be really good. This would give me something else to relate to Richard with, and this could increase my memory. And this will probably increase my physique a little too, as well as my imagination. Let's go. With, let's go with the boombox, and we'll save off before we spend any more pride doing anything else. Um, let's look around town. Red Checker Cafe. Oh my God, I have new things at all of these places, don't I? Okay. Um, the Orpheus Theater. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's do... Okay, that decreases my happiness, but... Kitchen assistant. I have to do it... I have to do it a certain number of times, so let's just do this. Yeah, okay. Raise your memory. Fulfill the expectations. Cool, that is not what I initially thought that was going to do. <gasps> oh my god, some mac and cheese. Unhealthy but tasty, too. Oh my god. I'm buying the mac and cheese. Literally nobody could stop me. <gasps> Use food to your advantage. Action point cap. What? I can learn how to cook? Oh my god, I can learn how to cook. Okay. I did it at least once. I need to go back and spend action points on making myself happier. But I do still have a few turns to do that in. So, let's... God, what's going to like make me have the most fun? Uh... What is... Let's see. Reading comics. Computer literacy, which would be great. Board games. I like board games. Oh my god. How do you screw up <laughs> shoots and ladders that bad? The snakes just show up everywhere. Okay. Um, there's gotta be something else I could do for literally five. I can't even watch cartoons for five. What can I do here? I can't do anything. Oh, but I can I can be an assistant at the animal shelter. Oh my god, I need to do that more in the future. Okay. Um Okay, giving me more stuffs. Let's, let's go back. Let's let's go back. I just want to see what my options are. Buy groceries, shopping. Ooh, I can get new hairstyles. Not that I'm going to. I love mine. I'm, and my style is fan. <gasps> I can get the magic cube. I can get them both. I'll get I'll get the the bike riding too. I can always like go back, right? I can well not like go back, but I can always like, I can earn money easy, is what I'm saying. I can earn money really easy, and then I can just buy things to make up for it. Okay. So, time for us to schedule things. Okay, hold on. What did what did, what did they want from me? I had to help with cooking three more times. But I have a few more turns to do that in. Oh, I have to spend my points. Um, I did kind of want to save them for some marine biology. 
I'm going to unlock my knife skills. Oh, you enter the diner again. Oh, hello. Just sit anywhere you want. I um, actually wanted to ask you some stuff about short order cooking. Uh, for like a school project? No, the other day you said, um, you told me that I could, uh, the other day? Oh, oh, you're that kid. Oh, I didn't really think I'd ever see you again. No, I just, I had questions. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, ask away. Ask about burning things. Ask, ask about cooking a ton of stuff at once. That, I think, is going to be your most useful thing. Because everything's going to have different times that's going to have to be done by. And if you're going to, like, have an entire table's food orders ready, you got to know how to do that better. How do you keep track of, like, 12 things at once? Oh, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my god. All right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, seriously, though, you need to keep your cooking station organized. If you know where things go, it can really help, especially if you start in the same spot. Say, cut, cutting the... What? No. Oh, I'm still in the way. Ugh. I didn't even think about this. Oh, well, I tried that. You have to be able to juggle dozens of things and handle a busy diner. Trust me, no one cares how busy you are if the food is, like, late or super ruined. As if on cue, someone else comes into the diner. Uh, sorry, duty calls, but let me give you another milkshake on the house. She manages to seat new people, another group after that, and get everyone's meals going. And still gets you that free drink. I'm kind of impressed, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. There. I think we're good. And... I did want to learn a little bit more about basic programming. You see the middle-aged computer science teacher at the arcade cabinet again. Hey there, thanks for the other day. I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Neil Snyder. Why is, like, Zack Snyder's, like, cousin or something? You ever have any questions about computer science, programming, or anything like that? I owe you. Um, well, I was reading a bit about code and stuff, and, um, like, what language of coding are we talking? Like, C Sharp, C++, like, what are we using it for? HTML? Oh my god, they're gonna let me ask. Okay, so, null would be, I think, C Sharp. I'm not too, I'm not too well versed in C Sharp, but Booleans is C++. So, I... I'm a nerd for C++, so I'm going to ask about Booleans. Um, so what is a Boolean? Oh, that's just a fancy speak for a binary choice, like a yes or a no, a one or a zero, right, wrong, on, off. You know, that's, that's a Boolean. It is. It, think about it like, is true, yes or no. That's it. Get it? Uh, sort of. Don't worry, this stuff isn't that hard. You'll get it eventually. You're young. Okay, wait, don't. Don't you even. Them's fighting words. <laughs> this stuff isn't that hard. Add in ADHD. Or borderline ADHD. I'm still trying to get diagnosed. Point still stands. Like, there's an entire subreddit dedicated to people with ADHD trying to program or learn to program. And it's literally just like, please help me, everything hurts. <laughs> it's us old fogies that are afraid of you youngins. You'll be better at this than me in a few years. Okay, that's fair, but the point stands. <laughs> His smile turns kind of sad, but with that, he leaves you to your own devices. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel the need to do any of this still. Okay. I'm going to use the baseball. Another day in PE class. This one has coach going th going on about baseball. I was a football man. Went pro for a bit. But I always loved baseball. No other sport so regimented, so orchestrated, and yet still requires the whole team to work as one. It's just you and the batter, but the moment there's a crack and everything comes alive. Also, if you think team sports aren't useful for the rest of your life, then you're wrong. All of life is working in teams. Okay, so 
I got to recently visit the uh, uh, Smithsonian in D.C. that is for African American uh, culture and history, or history and culture. I it, I don't remember all the orders, but it's like upside down and almost shaped like a wicker basket made out of metal. It's really cool. Anyway, um, they had an entire section dedicated on the second floor to the importance of sports in the life and history of African American culture and peoples specifically for how much it allowed them to accomplish so I'm really kind of actually happy that they like made the coach a black guy because because of literally like the the importance of sports within the culture that has been thereby impressed on me based on what I saw in the museum if none of that's still accurate I apologize uh, but the, again this is just based on the information that was given to me there and they really kind of hit that like a lot and hard and home and had massive sections just dedicated to the massive amount of accomplishments that African American people made in sports specifically and how it changed a lot of racial thinking I, was, I don't know, I want to talk about that because it made me happy anyway he splits the class into two teams we'll need captains anyone want to be captain? he looks right at you all right, fine. You raise your hand and he nods. The team splits up and after a lot of bumbling around, you get through about one inning before class is over. Okay, I got to tell you right now, I'm like a lot more uh, adventurous in this game than I am in real life or would have been as a teenager. Okay, well, let's go ahead and schedule some things then. Um, okay, so we need to do some balancing. Okay, so vertebrae is fine. Um, I do need to do more basic stuff. Okay, we're going to do at least one of those. Um, let's see. I want... I mean, I do kind of want some vertebrae. Okay, let's finish that out. Um, programming would only make my parents happy by one. I'm just going to do it, and then we're going to add in one entertainment to, like, balance it. Um, I want something that has, like, a net positive. So... Dancing to music. Works for me. Yeah! Learning more about basic ingredients. Yeah. There we go. I think I did all the, the stuff I needed to for that. Oh. How do you feel that badly? Anyway, middle school's slowly coming to an end, and you and Richard will graduate and go to high school. One day during lunch, Richard wants to talk. He walks you out to the sports field, but instead of talking, he just sits there silently. Huh. Well, because we're at the end of the episode, we're going to have to see what Richard wants next time. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Growing Up. Take care, everybody.